one being powered by wood, I see. Oh, that's very green. <laughs> very carbon neutral. It's very hard work. One of the joys of steam engines is that you can power them with anything that burns. Above the boiler there are the two side glasses, which make sure that the water level inside the boiler is covering the firebox top so that the boiler doesn't melt. And the pressure gauge. And this pressure gauge is showing 40 psi. Above that, there's the safety valve. Two of them, redundancy. Back round there, the high pressure steam. 40 psi, leaving the boiler room and making its way to the engine room. Well this is Andy, now that it's gone a bit quieter in here we can hear Andy speaking I hope and Andy will now tell you why we have a governor as advanced as this and how this governor contributes to keeping the mill running properly. Most steam engines has a governor but this also has a regulator which fits in between the governor and the steam valve gear. The, the idea of the regulator is that this can control the speed of the engine plus or minus three percent and that's important in textiles because if you've got any surges of power going through the line shafting down to the weaving shed that surge in power can cause the cotton thread to snap in the in the weaving looms so it's important to have a nice progressive um, sur uh, uh, controlled power going through so that's the reason why we've got the regulator on here. And through this ratchet here, so that when it's engaged, this is set so that the speed of the engine is controlled at 68 RPM. If it speeds up, it's sensed, sensed by the governor that the engine is speeded up, then this will ratchet round either way like this, and that will then, through this linkage here, adjust the amount of steam going into the inlet valves by that angle right there. So it'll allow, if it opens earlier, to allow more steam in. If it looks back here and it is, um, has a delay in opening the valve, then it slows the engine down. Okay, so the regulator is set for full power now. The cylinder drain cups are open. We're now going to apply full steam. So Jim, do you want to explain to the lads what this is and why, how, it, how it works? Very simply, you've got a, a portal tight governor, which is made by Lums, uh, um, which obviously operates from the weights at the top and the central counterbalancing uh, weight. That's linked to this regulator because there are always looms starting and stopping, so the load varied a lot and it's important to keep the looms running at a constant speed. So if it started 
getting too much load on, um, you could, it would automatically speed it up. What happened, the engine started slowing down. It was So we're simulating the engine slowing down here. Yeah. And as you can see, um, it'll start look, how, look how the bottom pole is engaged and it started to turn this uh, crank around. The bottom pole of this uh, ratchet and pole arrangement is, is engaged and it's pulling that around. And as that thing pulls around, it's turning the shaft. There's a crown wheel at the end of it. It's turning the nut. You can just see the nut turning there. And that's making the uh, that shaft longer and shorter, isn't it? Back to speed now. Back to speed again now. Now if I slow it down, that one will come into now, operation. Now, right here, the top one comes into operation. And that will turn the other way. You can see that turning around, I hope. Yep, you can. You can actually see the addition going on mechanically. It's adding the error signal by means of that screw jack. And each time there's an iteration of time, it's turned one more time, one more time, one more time, until eventually there's no more error. And when there's no more error, the pole disengages and we stop adding integrations of time. So each time the engine turned and there was an iteration of time, we added the error signal to the total there and that was added to the uh, proportional signal there and that's what kept the keeps the engine in uh, speed that's right this is a constant speed and there is also a, a safety device which if it slows down too much that will strike that and disengage the gear which will throw the, close the valves cutting off all the speed conversely if it speeds up too far it will strike that, knock that out of the out of way, and the, the valves will shut again. Okay. That's in case you get an overspeed for some reason, or the ropes uh, break on the governor. Okay. Yeah, you can see how the, as the pole engages and turns the ratchet around, you just saw that he turned the crown wheel there, and the crown wheel turned the turnbuckle, and then the turnbuckle uh, increased the length of the rod. There it is again. Starting again. Adding more and more error, and now it's satisfied again.